Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to a, another video. Today we're jumping back into DaVinci Resolve with a follow-up from last week's tutorial on how to create a modern title effect. In that tutorial, we went through a few animation techniques in creating your own title sequence that you can use in your projects. But what we didn't go through was how to save that out as a sort of a drag and drop preset that you can use on any project that you start from here on till eternity, basically. And I figured that that sort of would warrant a separate video because it's quite a specific use case. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Now, we're going to start with the project that we created in the last video. So if you haven't checked that one out, quickly check the link up above here, how to create a modern title effect. Great couple of animation tips in there. So check that one out because we'll start with that. And yeah, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and create our drag and drop preset. All right, so here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve. And what we're gonna wanna do is make sure our playhead is hovering over the fusion composition that we created in the last video and jump across to fusion. And here we have all our nodes in our tree laid out just as we wanted them. And basically what we wanna do is drag and select everything that is there, every single node, and then right click on one of the nodes. Make sure you right click on a node because if you right click in this empty space, nothing will pop up or at least the option we want won't pop up. So right click on a node and then you wanna go all the way up to macro and go create macro. And that's gonna bring up this very confusing dialog box. So the first thing I recommend you do is just close off all these so nothing is open. And we can give the macro a name. So let's call this modern title one because hopefully we'll create many, many more. And so basically this is a drop down list of all the inputs and outputs related to the node tree we just right clicked on. Every parameter that can be changed under the sun and it is quite intimidating and that's where you know your creativity comes into play. If you wanna export everything and give the creator a bunch of options, you can, but the easiest way to do it is just sort of give the bare minimum. So we wanna obviously export the text size, the text color, the font, that sort of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we need to track down the text nodes and that's where naming your nodes, which we did in the previous video becomes quite important. Otherwise you're just gonna be looking for text one, text two. So. The first text we'll do is the journey. So we're gonna click on that and drop, get rid of image. What we're looking for is the text subheading. So now we're gonna check the check mark for style text, font. So obviously we can change the font, style, so we can change bold, italic, that sort of thing. Then we're gonna check the next four. So red, green, blue, and alpha. This is gonna give us full control over the color wheel in terms of making it transparent, obviously different shades of reds and greens and all that. So we need to make sure we have all four checked. If you don't have the red checked, then you won't be able to color it in that shade. Then we're gonna check uh, size, and then we're gonna do tracking so that we can adjust the tracking. And the rest you can pretty much leave off for now. Like I said, you can turn some more of these on, so the anchors and all that, if you want control over it. However, in my experience, less is more. Give the basic needs that you're obviously gonna to wanna to adjust, which is the text, leave it at that. Otherwise, you could probably end up breaking your animation because things will go outside the masks and it's gonna get messy. So let's keep it at that. So we can get rid of that now. Now we're gonna go down to the next text, which is the Misty Mountains one. And again, get rid of the image and we want the text. So we're gonna select the exact same one, style text font, color, red, green, blue, alpha, size, and tracking. And we're gonna get rid of that. Now, in this particular instance, the only other thing we need to export is that line that appears in the center dividing the uh, main title and the subtitle. For that, we wanna export the background, okay? Because the mask that plugs into it automatically will get saved out. So what we want is to find the background. In this case, we've called it background one. Like a, we, I recommend probably renaming it something a bit better than background one, so you don't have to find it, but background one. What we're gonna wanna do is get rid of image and we're going to change the color. So this is pretty much the only thing we wanna change, right, is the color. So we're gonna change, we're just gonna check all of them all the way down, pretty much down to gradient, all right? And that's going to allow us to change the entire color of the entire object. I'm not quite sure why we have to do top right, top left, all that sort of stuff, but this is just sort of how it handles background nodes. And we can close that down. Now, if we want to in image, we can change the width and the height. So if you wanna have that selected, you can. But like I was saying, you know, if you haven't done your masks precisely in the animation and made them large enough so there's a little bit of redundancy there if you do resize that particular image, 
then changing the width and height is probably not a good idea, but you can have it checked if you want, and that's just gonna be under the image drop down. And with that, that's pretty much all we need to have selected. Then we just need to go close. And it's gonna ask, would we like to save changes to macro tool one? We're gonna go yes. And it's gonna bring up this dialog box here, obviously our file browser. And what we're going to wanna do is navigate down to templates. So it's currently under macros, gonna go down to templates, and we're gonna go across to edit and titles. And here you can see I've already got modern title one settings. So we're just gonna click on that, save over it, and we're gonna just replace. Now you've saved your macro so you can have your drag and drop transition. The next thing to do is just to quickly restart DaVinci Resolve. So exit out of it. And we're gonna jump over to the edit page. And here what we can do is we go to our, up the top here, go to our effects library, go down to titles and we scroll down. It's gonna be in alphabetical. So modern title one, if we click on that and drag it down, now we have our drag and drop title. And if we drag our playhead, now you can see we have, we have our animation. And if we click on this, and go over to our inspector, you can see that we can change, you know, sub, ooh, subtitle, and we can go down, we can change the font to whatever we want, change the color to anything we want, we can change the size, change the tracking, and you can see here what I mean by, because I haven't done that mask so large, by increasing the tracking to a certain point, it cuts off the text. So that's why we have to be careful with what we export. But again, we can come down and we got the color for the line here, so we can change that to black or whatever we want. And you got everything you want to need. So hopefully this was helpful. Woohoo! and done. That one is gonna be one you're gonna find very, very useful. Hopefully you learned a lot in this video. Again, imagination is the limit here. You can create your own social media banners, lower thirds, cinematic titles. You can create a whole library that you can just use in all of your projects and you only have to put the effort in once, which is you know what we're here to do pretty much. We don't wanna waste all our energy creating titles for every single different project. Do it once, do it right, and then just drag and drop. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe for more tutorials like this one, as well as gear reviews, we do that as well. And until next video guys, see ya.